Immigration. Home Secretary James Cleverley is expected to tell MPs today the government's migration measures are still under review in the wake of record-high net migration figures. As for the Prime Minister, he's going to spend the day meeting with hundreds of global chief executives who have gathered at Hampton Court Palace for a conference designed to showcase the UK's ability to attract international investment. Joining us now from the conference is the Business Secretary, Kemi Badenoch. Very good morning to you. Uh, morning. We want to attract morning, uh, global Susanna. investment, not so much global immigrants. Is that the message today? <laughs> Uh, well, we certainly want to attract global investment, uh, but we need to make sure the migration figures are sustainable. So I'm here this morning at the Global Investment Summit, which we've been organising uh, for about a year, and we've smashed the target we had uh, last summit. We raised 10 billion. Uh, this summit, it's uh, 29 and a half, uh, very close to 30 billion pounds. So I'm really pleased to be announcing that. And that is businesses who are bringing in money. They're going to be building data centers, AI infrastructure, uh, investing in our life sciences, clean tech, a lot of the things that we need to become uh, the, uh, an economy of the future that's fit for the future. And um, I'm just really pleased that we've been able to achieve all that. Well, good luck with that. And, and congratulations, by the way, on the Nissan thing um, that, that was announced last week. That's, that's obviously great news for the North East. Um, yes. Let's talk about um, the Home Secretary. Yes, Mr. Uh, actually, and, uh, just on, just on, yeah. on, that, on, on that point, um, the Nissan, what, Nissan announcement is actually... That two billion is actually not part of... Um, that's not part of the investment that we're talking about today. Um, okay. uh, as a minister who looks after a UK economy, I, one of the things I do want to do is let people know that there is good news out there. All right. I know that quite often we want to talk about all the difficult things like migration, and I will come on to that in a moment. Excuse me, I just but raised Nissan for you. I, I, I just actually <laughs> congratulated you on the Nissan yes, deal. Yes, yes, I, yes, not... I, yes, I know, but I, I didn't want people. I didn't want people to think that that was that was part of what's happening no, today. Although that. it is fabulous okay. news. So we are getting more more investment than Germany and France combined. We've right. uh, leapfrogged France to become the eighth largest manufacturing uh, economy in the world. There is a great economic story to tell, and I want to make sure that your viewers hear about it, as well as all the other things that are all on right. the agenda. All right, well, you've been very clear on that, and I hope that's, that's come across. Now then, um, the Home Secretary, Mr Cleverley, he seems to be backing away from the Rwanda plan. Um, he gave an interview at the weekend basically saying that uh, he doesn't think we should make that big a deal about it. What's your sense? Is your sense that the whole Rwanda policy is about to evaporate before our very eyes? I think people are misreading what the, the Home Secretary said. Uh, migration policy uses a lot of levers. The Rwanda plan is just one of them. Uh, the Rwanda plan is focused on illegal migration. There are lots of levers around legal migration, which we can use as well. The net migration figures that we're talking about uh, are uh, things that we can manage if we look at things like salary thresholds or the number of dependents that people want to bring in. And I think that what the Home Secretary is talking about is that, is that there is a whole swathe of levers which he has to pull. Do you... I'm sorry, I was just going to say, I, you've just mentioned salaries and also dependents. Mm. Um, do you want the uh, salary to come down for um, skilled workers who we admit in order to cut the uh, net immigration numbers? Uh, the, the threshold would have to go up if you wanted to reduce the number of people. I beg your pardon. To, uh, but those to, are the yes, that, sorry, uh, to, to reduce the numbers, you'd have to raise the salary threshold. Yeah. Is that something that you're backing? Well, that is something that the Home Secretary is going to be speaking more about in terms of what he can do. I'm not a Home Office Minister, so it shouldn't be for me to speculate on what I think uh, the number should be. They need to look at all of this in the round. They need the to look at the is, figures of yes, people of who are coming in and then work... Uh, just a moment, just a moment, Susanna. Uh, they need to work out, back, uh, looking at who's coming in and what the numbers, what the salary threshold should be. Okay. I do <laughs> think that we need stronger measures. I think we need to do whatever it takes to uh, get to the right place. But what I can't do is say, oh, I think it should be 28,000 or I think it should yeah. be 32,000. That's not how we make policy. Because Suella Braverman um, apparently wanted it to be 40,000. Yeah. If it's 40,000, that would cut down on the numbers of NHS workers that we admit who we rely on, the number of care workers that we admit that we rely on. I mean, you know, we can be... We can politicise the net migration figures, but the fact of the matter is we rely on a huge number of people. 100,000 of those numbers are people we rely on in our care and health sector. 
Yes, that is true, but the vast majority of people who work in the health and care sector are still British citizens. Uh, the figure is about 81% British citizens and then the remaining for uh, foreign workers, not all of whom are low skilled. So the net migration uh, figures what we're talking about and the salary threshold that that will interact with will probably impact those who are at the bottom end. So it doesn't mean everybody in the health service who works, uh, who comes from abroad is going to have to leave. But we also need to remember that many people who come here, whether they're students or workers, bring in dependents. Is it the case that if people are bringing in more dependents than what they're contributing to the country, then does that make, does that make sense? We need to make sure the public services that we are uh, giving us are, are still able to sustain the population that we have. There is no point bringing in more people to work into public services who no. come in with dependents and then uh, the numbers are, are not sustainable. We have to make sure that what we are doing works for everybody in the country. Nevertheless, were you surprised to read this morning? I think there was a fairly widespread collective intake of breath that Suella Braverman had reached this agreement mm. with the Prime Minister to raise the salary, the minimum salary, to £40,000. Well, I, 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 don't, I, don't I don't know that an agreement uh, was reached. I haven't seen the full details uh, of it. I've been at the summit uh, since very early this morning. Mm. She is a former Home Secretary. She would have had a view. But at the end of the day, we are looking at a whole swathe of levers now that we have seen what the net migration figures for 2022 were. This was under a previous Prime Minister, I need to uh, remind people. So these are not figures that happened uh, mostly under Prime Minister Sunak. He is the one who is saying that he will do whatever it takes to tackle, what, uh, whether it's the, stop, uh, the, the small boats, to stop the small boats, whether it's illegal migration, and make sure that legal migration is sustainable. But it sounds like it's on the table. Mm. Raising the, the yep. salary threshold to 40,000 for skilled migrants, that might be on the table. Well, I, th I think we will hear a lot from the Home Secretary today, but I am sure that he is, do he is looking at every single lever that he can pull. Of course, okay. things are on the, of course, things are on the table. The salary threshold was something that was decided under previous governments. It is right that we have a review and we look at all of these things All righty. Well, listen, have a productive summit. Thank you very much indeed uh, for taking time out to join us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.